Hey guys, it's Jane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, we're going to be going over some ranked pick classes in Call of Duty World War II. Not saying these are necessarily the best classes, but these are the classes that I have, and I think they're pretty good overall. They're not super in depth. Um, I use some different classes for um, competitive game battles, but my ranked play ones are more generic and can be applied to a bunch of different situations and are generally just good to use in pretty much any game mode, whether it's Hardpoint, Search, or Capture the Flag. Although there are a few that are specific to certain game modes, and I'll go over that when I'm looking at them. So, most of them, as you can see, are going to be Mountain. Um, that's just because without uh, too many people talking to their teammates and stuff, because there aren't parties, uh, people are sound whoring a lot more. Um, and I think that having dead silence is very necessary in this, especially in S&D, but even in Hardpoint and stuff like that. Um, so the first class is just a sniper class. Um, you can use pretty much any sniper you want, but I'd recommend using like Mountain. You could also use Hunker or Energetic, or even Scoped. Um, I just use Hunker so they don't get naded uh, right off the bat when I'm running up. And then uh, just rule of thumb, Machine Pistol, you're going to want to run that on every single class. Um, it's just the best pistol, Machine Pistol with extended mags. And then I run a Frag. So that's pretty much it. You just want the uh, Scope uh, capabilities for the sniper uh, when you're running Mountain. Now next, this is my uh, Capture the Flag class pretty much. Um, I all, this is pretty much the only class I use in Capture the Flag. Um, it's just an airborne gunslinger class. I think gunslinger is super useful in Capture the Flag because you can shoot while sprinting. When you have the flag and stuff, it's super useful to just be able to start shooting uh, before the enemy can. Uh, because when you're running gunslinger, you get to shoot right away, right when you pull the trigger. But with other weapons, there's a trigger delay. Um, which is also known as the sprint out time. And so Gunslinger eliminates the sprint out time. You can also use this on hard points, but I generally feel like I get naded a ton when I don't have anything else on in hard point, like hungered or armored. Uh, so I don't necessarily run this in hard point, but this is a very good CTF class. Just PBSH with a quick draw grip, machine pistol, and then a uh, sticky grenade. I also sometimes run um, smokes on this because it is a capture the flag one. And then this is my S&D uh, PPSH class. It's just mountain with energetic, so you can rush still with the sub. Uh, and then it's quick draw, grip, machine pistol, and extended mags. Um, another S&D class, which I'll quickly make, um, that I hadn't made yet, but I use this one often, is uh, either airborne inconspicuous, which is super useful, or even airborne energetic. This makes it so you can just get up on the enemy so fast. And uh, I generally just use this to sprint to their side and then camp a corner. Um, because you're so loud when you have this on, but if you're able to sprint through all the nades and stuff like that, you can usually get to a good head glitch to their corner before they do. Um, now back down to this class. This is my FG42 class. This is my go-to hardpoint class. Honestly, I use Mountain, so I'm silent and the streaks can't see me because streaks come in a lot in hardpoint. And I feel that when I'm running infantry and other stuff, they completely destroy me. And I'm running hunker so I don't get naded. Uh, you could also run infantry or anything else on this class. Um, I just don't like getting streaked. Um, and I kind of like the dead silence. And I only need two attachments on my FG. But if you feel like you need three or you want the stock, you can run infantry. And that's fine too. I just use reflex grip. Um, but if you're wondering why I'm not running FMJ on any of these classes, um, that's just because FMJ is banned in game battles right now. And that's what I primarily play, so I don't want to get used to FMJ uh, in ranked play if it's not in game battles. Uh, next is this bar class with Scoped. Scoped is actually super useful. So I'll just show you a comparison of the bar with just like something normal on it. Let's just put reflex, grip, and then you go to the firing range. And you can see how much this weapon's swaying back and forth when you're uh, just getting ready to shoot. And then if you go to the bar class with Scoped, it's like not swaying at all. And it, that's just really useful uh, for especially long range shooting. And I like it a lot on the bar and I use it on the, it's not necessarily necessary on the FG, but scoped also makes it so that you can strafe even more, like back and forth, well I guess infantry does too. Like for example, if you look at this FG class, the way I strafe back and forth, and then you compare it to this one, I can strafe way faster on this class and that's super useful. It's like stock and it gives you reduced sway. So scoped is actually a super underrated basic training that not uh, very many people like or run and I personally think it's really good. So that's my bar class. I use this for S&D mostly, uh, but I also use it for hardpoint and CTF sometimes. I mean, I kind of just play around, but this is mostly an S&D class. Uh, same with this FG, this is my S&D FG class and that also has scoped. Um, and then here's my hill class for the PBSH and those two classes I already showed you. This is my hill class for the PBSH and it's just armored and conspicuous so it can't be heard that much. 
Um, you're going to be a bit slow, so sometimes I might run Armored Energetic on this class if I feel like I'm going to be too slow or if it's a big map. But on smaller maps, I generally run Armored and Conspicuous, so I'm still uh, somewhat silent. Um, but at least I am immune to nades and shell shock and all that kind of stuff that people throw in at hardpoint. Um, I might leave you guys with some ranked play highlights, or I might have just been showing gameplay in the background. I'm not quite sure if I'm just going to leave it um, in the create class screen or if I'm going to intersperse gameplay into this yet. But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me how you guys are enjoying ranked play in Call of, Call of Duty World War II. Subscribe if you are new here. But that's what it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, I just had a 1v4 for the ace, no 1v3, Jake, I just did, I had an ace with a 1v3 and freaking was just head glitching bomb and killed the guy at 8.5 and hopped it.